Amen. I give to you a new commandment. Love one another. Is that new? On this night of nights, the night when, according to the other Gospels, Jesus sat down at a table, broke bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples and told them to take and eat that this was his body given for them. But in the Gospel of John, we get him giving the disciples a new commandment. Knowing everything that's going to happen, he gets up, he takes off his outer robe, he ties a towel around his waist, and he goes to them to do something that no master or teacher should ever do. This was a job of a slave. When you walked around in the dirt all day, right? You took, you're, what are you, you're wearing nice shoes? Did they wear nice shoes? They probably were nice shoes for the time, but they didn't look like this. And they didn't cover your feet. And you're walking around on the, out in the snow, right? No, Jesus and the disciples didn't walk in the snow. They walked where? Sandy, dirty, nasty. And if you're sweating and doing a bunch of stuff and you're walking around with sandals on in the dirt, what do your feet look like when you come in? They're, they're pretty gross, right? So when you were invited to somebody's house for a dinner party, the most important person that would greet you at the house would be someone who you wouldn't know what their name was, wouldn't eat dinner with you, and probably wouldn't say a word to you the whole night. They were the slave that met you at the door with the basin of water that washed your feet when you came into the house. And that was very important. But it wasn't done by the master of the house. And it wasn't done by a teacher. So when Jesus stood up to do this and he gets to Peter and Peter says, right, we see this as Peter being cocky, really, right? Peter's like, you're not going to wash my feet. I'm not, we're not going to have anything to do with this because this isn't what you're supposed to be doing. But that's what Peter's coming from. Peter's coming from the fact that Jesus is not lower than him. Jesus is his teacher. Jesus is his master. But yet Jesus takes off his robe comes to every last one of the disciples. Right? All 12 of them. Including Judas. And he washes their feet. And when he gets done washing their feet, he puts his robe back on, he sits back down at the table, and he says to them, I have a new commandment for you. Love one another. And my question for Jesus is, did he forget about Leviticus? Who knows where in Leviticus it actually says that? Who knows someplace else in the Bible that says, love one another? What's the greatest commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. And love your neighbor as yourself is actually a quote of Leviticus 19.18b. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. The second half of the verse is love your neighbor as yourself. Now I'll give you that love one another is not actually the same as love your neighbor as yourself. But it means pretty much the same thing. So what does Jesus mean? I give you a new commandment. I think it's all wrapped up in something that I just skipped over. Jesus put on his outer robe after he washed the feet of the disciples. He took off his robe. He poured water in a basin. He went to each one of his disciples and washed their feet. Taking on the role of a slave. Lowering himself below everyone at the table. When he's done, he puts his robe back on. He sits down with them and he says... You call me master and teacher, and well, you should, because that's what I am. But I've done something for you today that not only that the servants normally would do for you, that no master would ever do. And I've taught you a way to go about living and to do and to be in this world and to show everybody what's going on. I've taught you how to live. 
I've taught you what to do. And then he says, If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I give you a new commandment. To love one another. Not as you love yourself. But to love one another as Jesus has loved you. To lower himself to the point of washing your feet, making himself a servant and slave to you, as much as giving up his life in a place that you should have been, but he took it for you. I give you a new commandment. The reason that tonight is called Monday Thursday, right? Monday is a Latin from the word mandatum. Mandatum means commandment. Command. I give you a new commandment. Monday Thursday. Not only are you supposed to love others as you love yourself, but you're supposed to love others more than you love yourself, and you're supposed to put yourself in a place of ultimate service for each person. And as you said, this should be easy, right? Because Jesus kneeled at the feet of the 12 disciples and washed their feet. But remember, Jesus knew what was about to happen, and who was one of the 12 sitting there when he was washing their feet? Judas. Jesus knew what Judas was going to do. Jesus knew what Judas was going to do. And yet he still kneeled at his feet and he washed them. It's about putting ourselves in the place of the poor. It's about putting ourselves in the place of the oppressed. It's about putting ourselves in the place of those who we won't even look at, who we don't even see. And you can say, well, pastor, we don't have those people anymore. Baloney. Who collects the food that you go to buy at the grocery store? Somebody that doesn't get paid a wage that they need to get paid to do that. Who does the, the cleaning of the streets and the different things in, in, the, in the cities? They're there. Those people are there. And do we see them? I'm as guilty as you are. We don't see them. But God told us tonight, Jesus told us tonight, as he took off his robe, kneeled at the feet of his disciples, and washed their feet, knowing good and well that one of those twelve that he washed the feet of was going to be the one to hand him over for his trial and execution in just a few hours. He still washed his feet. He still showed him love. And that's what God calls each and every one. And that's what we're going to do tonight, if you so choose. It's, good. it's going to be easy here, right? Because we know each other. That's easy, to wash somebody's feet that you know. What I could have done is said, we're going to gather together, we're going to have Monday, Thursday worship, we're going to take communion, and then we're going to go out and find people on the streets that we don't know. Jim's here, he could have helped us. Right? We could go downtown Green Bay and find some people right now, couldn't we? Some homeless people that would just be completely floored if we showed up and said, we want to wash your feet. And how many of you would be comfortable doing that? Thank you. Right? I put my hands down too intentionally if you didn't notice that. I would be very uncomfortable doing that. But that's exactly what Jesus told us to go and do. And it's not just washing their feet. It's as much as seeing them, acknowledging them, know that they exist and trying to help them to lift them out of the place that they're at. That's what it means to love somebody else. To not leave them where they are. To see them where they're at. To love them where they're at. And to help them beyond their circumstances. That's what God calls us to. 
So tonight we're going to wash feet. Anybody that wants to. You have to take your shoes off. And your socks off. And I hope you took a shower. Because the, the, even the reading says that those who have bathed only need to wash their feet. So, but we'll see. What's, what's going to happen up here tonight is, when we get to that point after the prayer, I'm going to invite whoever wants to come up. I'm going to wash the first person's feet. And then I'm going to step out of the way. And whoever's feet I wash is going to come around and take my spot. And wash the next person's feet. So if you're brave enough to come up and wash, have your feet washed, you also have to be brave enough to step around to the other side of the basin and wash someone else's feet. Because that's what Jesus told us to do. Go and love as Jesus has loved you. That is his new commandment.